Hello everybody, welcome back to The Cabin. I have a super special episode here today. It's one of the questions I get more than any other question. When I'm out there in the field, I'm talking about hats and people are like, how do you know what hat to look for? If you're looking to make big money or at least add to your awesome hat collection, you need to know what to look for out there. So I brought the absolute expert in. We brought in Chernock, he's the hat guru across YouTube. Absolutely the best I know. And he also made one of our most popular videos of all time, how to clean and reshape hats. People love that video. Like 100 people a day watch that video, but today we're gonna to talk about hats and what to look for, and he has brought in his absolute favorite hats, his best hats, his hats worth the most money, and we're gonna take a look at it. All right, y'all, Chernock is here, and he is gonna, he's got a great looking hat there too, by the way. And he's just been so awesome this week. It's so fun to go out picking with him, with Tim, with all the folks that come up, Eric and Leroy, and all you guys that come up every year. I really appreciate it. But today, we're gonna get a little education. I'm gonna get a little ed education on what to look for. And I do okay on hats, but I don't do okay like you do. These guys are amazing. He's gonna show us some of his hats. He's gonna tell us about some of the hats he sold in the past. He's gonna tell us what to look for as well. All right, what do you want to start with? I like kind of run the spectrum mm -hmm. with it from low end to high end mm -hmm. because a lot of, you know, like a lot of the dad hats, you can, you can sell those for 15, 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. That all adds up. Right. And then when you get some killer scores, you know, add that into the mix. He was just it, telling me about a $500 hat. So you want to tell yeah, us about that real quick? Yeah, I couldn't bring that one today because <laughs> I already shipped it off to California. Mm -hmm. But I found a Logo Athletic Shark Tooth um, and I'll pop some stuff up yeah. on the screen. So if I'm looking like I'm pointing over here, it's because yeah. we're poking, we're popping this up over here. The Shark Tooth Chicago Blackhawks hockey, oh, wow. brand new at Tags. Awesome. They thought it was a Washington Redskins hat, okay. but it wasn't. And I got it for cheap because they thought I was watching the Maybe Redskins. Maybe if you would be willing a little bit later in this video to tell us some of the shark teeth, sure, shark tooth hats to look for. Mm -hmm. And I've sold a few over the years and they're one of my favorites and they're easy to spot in the field. Mm -hmm. But you know so much about things that aren't quite as easy to spot and people who don't know much about hats won't be able to determine. I've sold a few. I think the highest priced hat I ever sold was $299. And I probably wouldn't have found it without watching these mm -hmm. guys over here on Reseller Information Network. And it was a John Deere hat, and it was a uh, Louis. What's what is it? You tell me. Louisville, Louisville manufacturing, manufacturing hat, mm -hmm. and we sold it. I've sold two of them over the Which years. I think and this is one that Louisville is, manufacturing? Yes, okay, that is. there you go. And find out. Look, he's already <laughs> giving you tip number one. Show us what you got. All right, so these, are, like, like I said, these are some of my favorite hats. Yes, you do. I do. I had to bring the. Do you one, sell these? Huh? I I I used to. I used to. <laughs> We are going to start selling them again okay. when we start up our whatnot. We got I've got ah, some cool okay. hat Go stuff. Go follow him on whatnot. Yeah. By the way, follow him on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. Well, Chernox Connection. Are you Chernox Connection? Chernox Connection on, on Instagram and on whatnot. Okay, very cool. This summer we're kind of relaunching our whatnot because okay. we've been on a little dormant cycle. Mm -hmm. But I've got a bunch of hats and okay. a bunch of some cool. I mean, we're ideas. saying a bunch, and I know we got to get into these hats. But y'all, how many hats do you think you have right now? I mean, I, you may not even be able to tell me. Close to 5,000, 5, maybe. 5,000 yeah. hats, y'all. This so, guy is the absolute expert. Yeah. Tell us what you got. All right, so uh, so some of my favorite hats. This Skeeter hat, this is from my brother in Texas, made in the USA. I love the material. I wish I could find a bunch of blanks in mm -hmm. this, like, not it's hard like, nylon. Like nylon. I can't find this style hat anywhere, so mm -hmm. that's why I love it. And this is a Skeeter Boats hat mm -hmm. out of Texas, so really cool. Um, just some, like we said... Uh, in 1993 NBA Finals, this hat was nasty. It was, you know, crazy. Mm -hmm. we, we might get into video, but the the, <laughs> the you gotta take care. You know, like having to, you know, get it back to bright white. That's the hard thing. But we got this one back. Um, NASCAR. Well, let, me stop, let me stop you for just mm -hmm. a second because there are so many people who would literally walk by a hat like this and just like it's not not a big deal, right? Yeah. So, but you know, people will collect. That's 93. It doesn't have a team on here. No, 93 right. NBA Finals, but this was mm -hmm. this was Jordan. Jordan, right? So, That's exactly you know, what I'm getting So at, this right? was, you know, this was kind of like that cuz I've seen them with the with the logo Logo's on here. On side, so this yeah. was that pre mm -hmm. uh championship pre didn't know who was going to be in it. Yet, they, right? they didn't know. So mm -hmm. uh that's what you know you would buy that at the arena or you know somewhere like that. Gotcha. So. Now it, it, whenever you want to stop and talk about any earmarks on certain hats and logo athletic and stuff mm -hmm. like that we can. I don't yeah. know if you want to on that. But well, this is mean, something and I just tell a little story of mine. 
and he recycles parts of hats as well. Mm -hmm. I found a bag of the five star Levi Garrett patches. I found a hundred patches and I paid the guy five dollars for those and I sold those for years and years mm -hmm. and years. But whenever you find any of the old school patch stuff, you're usually doing pretty good. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And then, and NASCAR, I love it. Again, you know, made the USA. You want to look for the made in the USA because yeah. that's more. That's a key. That, that it adds a, a key. Yeah. It's, it's a, a, it's a key when buying hats. Cause you can kind of like date it to more like eighties, nineties. Mm -hmm. There, now, there are some, you know, made in Sri Lanka, made in Taiwan. Yeah. I try to stay away from a lot of them for vintage made a lot made in China yeah. because mm -hmm. it may not be that vintage. Right. But so like the, the vintage hat collectors love made in the USA. So right. if you see made in the USA, definitely mm -hmm. pick it up. And people will think they'll find these these hats, these NASCAR hats that, you know, new with tags and whatever. But they're really, you know, you call them flea market hats and mm -hmm. stuff. And they think those have a ton of value. And in reality, a lot of them just don't. Yeah, you can you can tell like... A lot of them have like the like like the Velcro or the hook and loop mm -hmm. yep. strap. Mm -hmm. Usually, w when you see something like that at a flea market and they're mm -hmm. really hard, those are like just kind of like the made in China. Yeah. Like so, the... if you see Velcro, it's almost never worth much. There are probably some exceptions, like there is to everything. Yeah, but it's not. But if you see straps like this on the back, yeah, yeah this is this is a strap back. Well, this is a, what they call the golf strap back, mm -hmm. and you know, it's it's. It's iconic, you know, even back, you know, they, they even put like the little golf mm -hmm. on a baseball hat. So mm -hmm. this is, you know, this is my Houston Astros. You can see that's some... a Nolan Ryan. I love that one. That's a Nolan Ryan era. Yes. Hat right yes. That's yeah. really cool. And again, my brother's down in Texas. So these are from him because mm -hmm. he can find these yeah. better than I Can't can in my here, area. Right? So in, you know, Houston Rockets. Um, now here's one thing with, uh, with these kind of hats, uh, your old school hats are going to have like, you know, your tags, this mm -hmm. twill. NBA right here made in Taiwan. Now, what the one thing about these are, you a lot of the, that's becoming popular right now are the sports hats that have stuff on the oh, brim, brim yeah. or the all over. Yeah. You find like an all over kind of embroidery, mm -hmm. those can demand big money. And I think I just sold a, a Mighty Ducks one the other day for mm -hmm. 50 ish or so that yeah. did that. So that's something that this I would probably be like for. 75 to $100 oh, wow. on this one right okay, here. Okay, so let me ask you a question mm -hmm. then. So you say they're popular now. You, you don't mean they're remaking them, although they do remakes of stuff, you know, like there's new Shark Tooth, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. You know? You got to be careful with that, but I haven't seen too much of this new out there. No, this is not. Okay. Yeah, the, the, not it's a lot of it's new. To make that. It, yeah, it is expensive, mm -hmm. but you know that's what I look for too. You know, like mm -hmm. the Oliver. You know, that's that's what does really really well. So like the more embroidery, kind of the better. You know, and don't <laughs> you know don't worry if it's going on the side. And, and mm -hmm. each a lot of these sports hats, it's gonna be hard to go into them all, but a lot of these sports have sports hats have. A certain nickname to them, okay, yeah, like exactly. the shark tooth, I've asked like you the sometimes. diamond. Yeah, like, like the... to put in a title on eBay. Mm -hmm, I've, I mm -hmm. had to call and ask you sometimes. Yeah, one of these days I'll get around to like making, <laughs> making a, a whole list. list and you know and selling it and getting rich. Trinox <laughs> connection on Instagram. All right, let's look at some more right here. Well, and I'm gonna show you all two more rocket hats. It's That's funny. Cool. I always say I can't find Houston stuff where I'm at. Walked into Goodwill. Two ninety nine, brand new with tags. Up, up, up there. He's from West Virginia. You know, yeah. and nineteen ninety four Houston Rockets. My brother was like, "Well, you have the nineteen ninety four. Why don't I send you the nineteen ninety five? Yeah, look at that. That's yeah. Crazy. So, so it was fifteen ninety nine initially. What do you think that's worth? Uh, probably these 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 are probably anywhere from like sixty five to eighty dollars. Mm, I, I think the last time I comped it. Now here's something that you sports want to see: sports specialties. Right now, the vintage sports specialties is super hot. Now Nike recently obtained the sports specialty mm -hmm. license so you may see some repops okay. of sports specialties but um you know this right here but what, what, what you wouldn't see is made in korea right what, yes you'd see made in korea you wouldn't see the tech but then there's one size fits all on the vintage Okay. One size fits most, most on, on the new okay. stuff now. Okay. So that's a little but trick. The new stuff wouldn't ha wouldn't be made in Korea. It would be made in China. It would probably, yeah, yeah okay. it probably be made in yeah, China too. But good. yeah, that's how that's how a lot of people one size fits all versus one, one size, size fits, fits most. most. There's a little key. So, I like it. There, there we go. go. Um, you know, I had to show this Washington Capitals. I'm a, you know, I'll see how it goes. Yeah, so. you know, the more, like I said, the more mm -hmm. embroidery, the cooler the hat is. The, the problem was I had one similar to this and I sold it. And I was so heartbroken because I was like, I sold like one of my favorite hats. <laughs> it went to a good home. About a week later, I found this one. So it made it all better. It made it all better. Very good. So, um, you know, now we're, we're getting into, you know, some newer hats. I'll tell you, 
5950 mm -hmm. new era this is what you want to get now you have, you've never seen this right before i've never seen that okay before. that's because minor league baseball yeah. right mm -hmm. now the 5950s in minor league baseball mm -hmm. super hot they mm -hmm. will out they will sell faster than your regular major league baseball right. your yankees your cuz think about it how many are out there? Right. And with minor league baseball, they love to do, this is the Puffy Tacos. One of these <laughs> minor league teams did a special night where they were the Puffy Tacos. They wore the uniform mm -hmm. and the hat for one night. So really? you can only get this hat for like one night wow. or very limited edition. Okay. So that's why you see a lot of these minor league baseball hats, you know, going I've for a, better money. I've got a new era question for you. So this mm -hmm. is 5950, and yes. which is the iconic one. Yes. I've played ball my whole life. It's the major league branded one. It's what they wear. But you'll see 3950. You'll see 950. Mm -hmm. 940, 940. 920. So you know. now, not saying those aren't worth money, but is that a little bit of an earmark for, for folks to yes. you know, not so, buy or buy? Or can so, you buy them off? So your 5950 is mm -hmm. at the top, like right. quality wise and everything. Now, New Era makes great quality, mm -hmm. you know, hats. But that's, you know, that's their flat bill, you know, you know, best quality hat that they that they make on a mass production okay. okay everything else below that is a little bit you know you might have a curved bill or right. you know something's just a little bit different right. and maybe and a little bit cheaper as right. well okay. for materials okay so, so if you're you know if all things being equal you want to find a 5950 if if i i, I was at a yard sale yesterday mm -hmm. they had a bunch of hats mm -hmm. i picked out all the 5950s mm -hmm. and left kind of the other ones because mm -hmm. it was like if i'm going to put the work into cleaning mm -hmm reshaping resizing especially right. for you know major league baseball right. i want a 5950 gotcha. versus anything else gotcha. this is so. a cool one but i want to talk about that in a second yeah. let's talk about the celtics and then we'll talk about i, I know here. now it's funny because a few people were like hey why do you have all these celtics hats and i'm like uh because i had a few other ones <laughs> hey i just find them so this is another style okay look at that Sports specialties mm -hmm. now made in Costa, Costa Rica, Rica but what that. do you see, Kevin? One size fits all. One size fits all. So definitely, I think this they call this like the yeah, side striped one. Mm -hmm. Now this it's been debatable because these aren't these aren't as popular as something like like this, this would be. Okay, what's okay this is called the diamond. Diamond. Okay, this okay. is called the diamond. I've seen that. I've actually bought mm -hmm. a couple over the years. I have not cowboys. I've had few. I have two cowboys. I I just recently found a Green Bay Packers. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking I I had a Bronco one back in the day. I'm looking for the exclusive or like not the exclusive but my grail uh -huh. Washington Capitals okay. Eagle Okay. With the with you know And they those. did this for basketball like there's probably a Bulls one out there. So they did probably so whatever. basketball, football, okay. uh hockey, mm -hmm. uh baseball and then a lot of people love to collect the colleges. Okay. And the thing is, yeah. the smaller the college, the less likely, the less yeah. likely mm -hmm. they mass produced mm -hmm. it. They would right. have it at the bookstore. Mm -hmm. So some of these small colleges, I've seen some of the diamonds and the splash hats go for big money, go for big money because cool. it's so rare, you know, versus like a Yankees one mm -hmm. versus a Stony Brook. Right, you know, yeah. One yeah at I've all. got a, a question. So this is a slightly off mm -hmm. topic because we're talking about things to look for. But at the same time, there are trends in hats, which I wasn't aware of. I sold a, a, a Mighty Ducks hat the other day for less. It was a killer hat for less than a pretty plain Jane. Was it? A, I don't know what they call that Raiders. particular Raider hat, mm -hmm. though. There was I don't know. There's probably a name for that particular kind. But it was pretty plain Jane. Mm -hmm. and, and that Raider hat went for far more than that Duck hat. And I was blown away. And you told me. That the trend right now was for Raider hats going mm -hmm. pretty darn high. I don't know if it has to do with the move to Vegas or whatever, but, um, or, you know, the old school SoCal Raider Oakland. There's a lot of different people that collect it, but it is something to look out for for trends as well, not just style of hat, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but, but team. And like you just talked about with minor league hats being hot right Correct. now. So that's something you got to keep up with as well. So we're going to look at some more hats and then I'm going to ask you a question I want you to think about before yeah. we talk about it. And that would be, places to find information about hats because i know you talk about that a lot but let's get back to these right here right. nascar nascar i mean you can already tell why this is one of my favorite hats the nice big oh, embroidery it's got the car on it too and That's look really at that cool. what we see there yeah, made in the usa up. now the thing is also if you don't see a tag, always mm -hmm. look at the back right yeah. here because mm -hmm. sometimes you'll find the information right, right here. And some people cut the tags out too. Mm -hmm. But you'll see why, made in but... the USA. You'll see you'll find K brand, K mm -hmm. products, Louisville mm -hmm. Manufacturing mm -hmm. Company, all these brands that mm -hmm. you know made in the USA stuff. Put it on there. So mm -hmm. you may not see a tag. So look, look, oh, flip on, it over man. and look at because that's okay. well, that's what tells you what it stuff. is. Okay. So um, now, now, why do you think this? Hat, why do you think I brought this hat? 
Probably Louisville manufacturing. No. no. Is it I just will, the type of denim? It is? I will tell you, denim, okay, all, over, denim all over denim, mm -hmm. snapback vintage denim can do really, really well. Well, I'm going to ask you about this because these are metal, what do they call them, eyelets or yeah, something? Yeah, eyelets. Mm -hmm. And they're colored and you don't often see that, right? And sometimes the button on top is a little different. You exactly. As well. So it, it, it's, just, and it's, it's just such a unique hat with a, mm -hmm. you know, a unique patch and everything. So and in other me, words, you do, oh wow, it's got the foam in there. Yeah, we'll talk foam. about foam in a second. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, you know, people want hats that look cool that nobody else has. Correct. And so they just want to stand out from the crowd and that would be one of them, right? It's like, Absolutely. If you're wearing that, the guy down the street's not going to be wearing it too. So don't just say, all right, I'm only looking for, you know, Jordan hats or this John Deere or that John Deere or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you can go to, you know, Tractor Supply and get a John Deere hat that looks somewhat like that, right? Because they mass produce Correct. different things. But nobody's going to be wearing that hat. I can't even find this patch. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> right. it's like, you know, it's rare. Oh, I did bring a shark tooth. <laughs> now, shark tooth. Now, this is this has got a, this has got a crazy story. This is your is shark tooth. Brown. Hat. That's a Dale Brown. Or is it not? Well, it is kind of, right? I'll Good tell range. you why. Okay. I'll tell you why. Now, you'll see something, okay, right here. Logo 7. Logo 7. Okay. Now, you'll see, now, you can barely read that. Logo now, Athletic. No? No, it's Logo 7. But, when I, you can barely shirt. read it mm -hmm. and it's clean, I'm thinking, what happened to this hat? Because uh, I, you can't find a brown one. Right. Yeah, I've never seen. So I've sold the black what one. What someone before. did was they washed it oh, gotcha. the wrong way, <laughs> and all this color, because you can see right here the black right here, mm -hmm. that all the color faded off of the. That's why you got to watch Chernock's video to mm -hmm. do it correctly. That's why I always say. People are like, oh, oh throw it in the dishwasher. Throw it in the, you know. Can I tell you how many people have commented on that video and tell them, oh, I just throw mine in the dishwasher. I'm this like, is, oh this my is gosh. what happens. And it ruins, and a different style of hats on the inside, it'll affect, mm -hmm. like, those have those little... And your tag gets faded, too. You so you may have a sports specialty tag, mm -hmm. but if it's if it's, it's if it's worn off... Yeah, nobody you, see it. What do you have? You know? <laughs> they bleached it. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's what happens at that. So kind of going back to that video, mm -hmm. that's why... That's why I said this is what, you know, mm -hmm. you don't want to throw them in the dishwasher. You don't right. want to throw them in the washer machine. So Got it. Now, if you've been hanging around this channel for a long time, you've seen me sell a few John Deere hats. Now, both of mine have been denim Louisville manufacturing hats. And he's got it. Obviously, he's wearing a John Deere hat. He got a John Deere hat down here. But let's talk about John Deere and that hat and other John Deere hats in mm -hmm. particular. What do you got? So I so I've always been fancy over the all mesh hats. Mm -hmm. I love the all mesh hats. One, because it, man, it's, it's comfortable. Right. It's cool. It lets the air in, but you know, a lot of your old school hats did have the all mesh. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the John Deere hats. Now John Deere has a new logo and I'm going to tell you how to, you know, uh, the difference between, the difference them, between yeah. a new logo. Mm -hmm. So this is called the landing deer. Yep. Okay. Front so feet, right? front feet are straight as it's landing. Mm -hmm. The new one is the jumping deer. Where's that has its feet are up. The, the feet are up and you know down mm -hmm. and they're, they're they look like they're jumping, jumping up. up so right. what what john deere said about it was you know they wanted to show progression so uh, they wanted to gotcha. you know they be moving it, right? forward and be but moving it's a good up kind of thing yeah. because now you've got something to look for this may be silly mm -hmm. questions but sometimes i'll see green with a yellow deer sometimes i'll see yellow with a green deer yeah they had they, they they interchanged Different. a lot of their okay. like they put them on uh white hats green hats um okay. Yellow hats with different, you know, different color logos and as right. well. I even found, I found one of my rarest, the ones I've never found before. It was a big patch with the, you know, with the old school logo, but it said the advantage or try the advantage. And okay. I've never seen that. I've tried to look it up online. Okay. It's it. old school. It's well, on I've got another question based on that. So you'll find these hats with advertising of particular john deere in a city or something mm -hmm. yes but those are still pretty highly desirable yes. maybe a smaller market but still highly desirable yes because you you have your john deere collectors mm -hmm. that that want to be like oh well i want one from virginia yeah. i want like one harley from... right yes mm -hmm. very much so very much collectible okay. in that sense of way very so good. if you have one you know that spans right. the east coast and you know the midwest and all that stuff and that's what you so want to find so the earmarks on this would be the same as any other hat to denote an an a late one from a one that's just been made a lot of times and you'll see snapbacks now but they also yes. do the velcro and just check the tag most of you your be able to tell. most of your classic mm -hmm. john deere hats will be either two 
two br- two brands, mm-hmm. K brand, K products, which were mm-hmm. the same brand underneath yeah. the same umbrella, Louisville. or Louisville Manufacturing okay. Company, yeah, that's what or you're just a straight up made in the USA. Okay. Okay. So okay. those are you know those are your si- telltale signs. Okay. I can I mean when I picked up this hat, I could already tell you what. Yeah, what this was without mm-hmm. even looking at and it. A thinner, I can see right there just mm-hmm. the thinner snapback. Yeah. You don't see the thin. Yeah, your thinner snapback will be probably Louisville Manufacturing okay. Company. Very you know, cool. so oh, I'm seeing fire right here. Yeah, I, I love this. Again, Houston Oilers fan. Again, the I panel, can't. They call them panel hat. What do they call? So this is the AJD. Um, the, AJD. Yeah, the Lucky Strike. Mm-hmm. So or Lucky Stripe. So I love the the, the old AJ, AJD styles. Now here's the thing. These style hats don't go for a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's it's just a, it's a peculiar market. Right. But I love mm-hmm. these style hats because this this screams eighties yep. to me, mm-hmm. and that's where it came from. This is nineteen eighties yep. Houston Oilers, and so whenever you find these hats, I'd pick them up. Okay, okay? because they are going to be at least. 35 and up. Okay. Okay. Now, are they going to be in the best condition? No. Right. Look yeah. at mine. Yeah. I've got to fix mine. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is the AJD yep. Lucky look Stripe. I'll look for that right there. You have the Super Stripes AJD and Lucky Stripes. Something else, too. So, okay. Um, but yeah, I've got to fix the, the snap on that. I'm the guru. I can I do that. I felt like I bought one of those from you one time. That old yes, Milwaukee. Yes, you did. Yes, okay. you did. My brother found a couple <laughs> I of think them. I still have you. It. Yeah, you have that. So, um, one thing too, mm-hmm. scrambled. These yeah, these are called the scrambled egg. eggs. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. that's the nickname for it. Mm-hmm. The scrambled eggs. Whenever you have find hats with scrambled eggs and vintage ones, I always love to pick them up and they're if they're in you good condition. These off, y'all. Right? Well, don't you? Well, some well, of them embroidered. embroidered so man, some, some of them are. Patches. Yeah. Okay. So if I if I'm if I'm taking apart a hat that's mm-hmm. that's beyond my repair. Yeah. You know, we'll take the snap out. I'll take a patch off, and then sometimes I've found mm-hmm. them where you can take them off. Hey, put put them on new hats. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Or put them on <laughs> vintage hats. I told hats. you this guy is a hat artist. Yeah. He's not just a hat collector buyer. Hunter, he's a hat artist. Yeah. Y'all and should watch that video where he cleans these hats. You'll find a lot of Olympic games. I'll tell you mm-hmm. what, they produce so many Olympic stuff. Gold thread and that's uh, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, for 96. Mm-hmm. They pr- so this is a, these are a couple of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, this oh, one's new with tags. This one's dead stock. Mm-hmm. You can see the Olympic games. I always pick it up. There's another the game. Uh, the game. Mm-hmm. That's a you know now is is it as good as logo no, athletic? No, they produced and, a lot of low end stuff, but a lot of that is. I think the Raider hat was a game hat. Yes, the game, yeah. and they did the fun. The game also give credit to them. They did a lot of the kitschy like uh, hats. Uh, the the college hats that would oh, say yes, something right. like innuendo y. Mm-hmm. You know, it would it would say <laughs> something like. You know, this is like the nickname for, mm-hmm. and it would just have that mm-hmm. on there, like the Gamecocks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you could yeah, use your yeah. imagination. Mm-hmm. What would yeah, it yeah, say? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the game right here. I mean, you know, Dale Earnhardt. You, I always pick up Dale Earnhardt. There's a lot of them out there, but they yeah. still. It seems like they still just they sell. still Almost, sell, even if it's just the number three. They still sell. D- Dale is is yeah. basically worshipped by the NASCAR, yeah. you know, old school NASCAR community. Yeah. So it's it, it, it's a fail safe picking mm-hmm. up a Dale hat. Yep. You know, no doubt, whatever it is. Um, here's something too. I I've talked about minor league before. teams. Yeah. Hockey, okay. Minor Houston. league hockey. Really. Okay. It's again. You're talking about the weird, the See, weirder I look stuff. At that thing, and I, it's just like you know, you're kind of like, why would? And then I, if I saw this on the side, I would grab it, right? Mm-hmm. I probably would grab that anyways. Let's face it. And then you got your tag here, so this is in great condition. But anytime it goes on the bill, and it's got a few things. It's got the team, obviously, and it's got the bill. Mm-hmm. But it's also, you know, a minor league team. It's a rare hat. And then there's there are collectors out here that just look for this style right. in all the minor minor league uh, hockey teams. Mm. So it's one of those things that's yep. like, yep. you know, you find something like that. Now, it may not sell quickly, but that person looking for that hat, yeah, there's you know. not that many out there. So if they want it, they're going to have to get it from Chernox Connection. Exactly. All right. This All right. One is this one right here. Awesome. This one right here was given to my, by my friend, Tim. Mm-hmm. It was in the worst condition ever. <laughs> worst condition ever. You can <laughs> really still though? see. Okay. Uh, you can I, still talk about the, the brim. There's a little, I want to talk about that really quick. <sighs> Dry rot on a brim. Is it called dry rot on the brim? What would you call it? With the ones I call that it, just I call it a cracker brim. Cracker brim. Okay. okay. So basically, your your old old school brims were made mm-hmm. by just cardboard. Yeah. And that cardboard has just like fossilized almost. Mm-hmm. And when you bend the the brim, mm-hmm. it'll just go crack 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 crack. Right. And some 
uh, some other brands use like cheap plastic in their mm -hmm. brim as well, and you'll just it'll break apart. Now with the old school, and it goes either way. Sometimes you can rescue some, and you can, but you can't rescue them all. Right. If it has the old school thin cardboard in it, mm -hmm. if you hit it with enough steam, mm -hmm. it kind of fuses it back together. Bit. You're not gonna have it. You're not gonna have it straight and and mm -hmm. and so a collector so, if it's a good enough hat a collector still might pay for it well the thing is too and you can see it this this hat broke but you can kind of bend it mm -hmm. you know in a certain way right so you're not you know you know it has some major cracks here and here but again you can you can kind of fuse it together where it's not you don't have a bunch of cracker yeah. chips so one thing you taught me because i was out there you know i film everything and he's watching the video and he sends me messages like dude pick it up because i used to just not pick up a hat if it was broken at all right if it was going to break at all mm -hmm. but if it's the right hat it's still probably worth, or it's got a patch like that. You pick it up no matter you pick what, it up. right? Also, and then the foam, right? I used to not pick it up because of the foam. That's not a foam hat, but if it's coming out where I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't want to deal with it. But some of those can but still go for But if you get them money. cheap enough, these snaps, some mm -hmm. of these old school snaps are worth ten dollars a piece. Do so you sell just the snaps, or do you yeah. just keep them to reuse? Yeah, I, I keep them to reuse, mm -hmm. and I and I and I'll lot them up and sell them. That's crazy. So right? you know, when did that look, y'all? When in doubt, part it out, right? Yeah, there. exactly. Even, even I, learned, I learned that from Kevin. <laughs> and then the last <laughs> no, hat yeah, we're right. going to kind of show three striper, the three striper. Okay, mm -hmm. now I have one listed in my store right now. I wish I had it. I might be able to find it for you. It's our, a it's a fisherman's hat, and it actually has a clock on it. Yeah. <laughs> now are all three, three stripers striper. created equal? No. no. If it has something that's nobody knows about mm -hmm. it's not going to do well with three stripers you there's two things made in the usa mm -hmm. okay so made in the usa mm -hmm. here or here okay and then the content yeah and this one just offhand and he's told me a little backstory on it but just the fact that it's the logo is all over the hat and mm -hmm. it's, i don't know what style this is but that's old style but tell me about the logo so the logo the logo that they, that they used on this one i can't find anywhere mm -hmm. I've, I've looked this hat up and down, right. up and down, Google Lens, everything, mm -hmm. Three Stripe, Virginia. I can't, I cannot find this. I have the other Cavalier looking yep. guy, mm -hmm. but not this one. And so there's something to look for too, older logos. Now mm -hmm. they did remakes and whatever, and you see a lot of that come out. But if it's an older hat with an older logo, you definitely have Yeah, something. and to where, you know, for something like this, it's like, well, where are you going to find that? When mm -hmm. I do, when I do the research, because I always have people reaching out to me and go, I can't find this hat anywhere. I'm like, don't worry. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's exactly That's right. a great exactly. thing that no one else has your hat because... So you get to pick the price. You get to, yeah, yeah. make, make, you your, make your own happens, comp. Right? You know, list it. You know, some of these hats I list super high because there may be that one person out there that goes, you know what? I'm not going to pay $500 for that hat, mm -hmm. but I'll take, pay $250 mm -hmm. for that hat. Right, right. Now, this is, this is probably 0. 0. 0.00005% mm -hmm. of my... Yeah, my collection but hats, right. these are some of my favorites mm -hmm. now there's there's some other ones that are tucked away i've got one in that you know one in the uh in Truck the car right, right now, now. Found a, the, the ducks one the, the other ducks. day mm -hmm. so tell this story really quick All right. and then we're going to end it and if you have any more tips to tell us we can do that at the end and then we're going to thank All right, you so. so two things i gotta tell you i don't know if he'll tell the whole story but will you tell the whole story what happened for this hat? Yeah, well, okay, we'll all right, hold on. So I'm going to have Chernock tell us a story. He was coming down to the sale down here in uh, Virginia, and he sent us a picture on his way down of a hat. And and this is going to go towards a little bit of a tip on on the how to do a little hunt hat hunting. All right, well, tell us a story. All right, so we stopped at this thrift shop because we, we 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 were making great time. So we stopped at this thrift shop. We get out, and this guy comes out of this alley. This older gentleman comes out of his alley and Tim's on his phone looking down and I, I look at his head. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> he had a, a logo seven mm -hmm. Anaheim ducks with the old mighty ducks logo mm -hmm. with the, with the, 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 the face mask with you the duck bill. You can send us a picture. Yeah. Well, I'll have a picture. <laughs> I've and seen old comps, it was hopefully. the, it was the splash version. Mm -hmm. I saw him turn his hat and I saw the little logo seven hit on the back and I, I knew exactly, and this is what in the in, in the hat buying industry mm -hmm. what they call you know selling it off the dome. Mm -hmm. You know, so I said I, I looked at him and I said, "Hey, I love that hat. Mm -hmm. Let me buy it from you." Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Oh, what? Someone <laughs> gave this to me like mm -hmm. a week ago, and I, you know, I, yeah. What, what do you want to give it to mm -hmm. me for?" I said, "You know what? 
I'll give you 20 bucks for your hat, mm -hmm. and I'll give you another hat. Yeah, because a lot of people want to keep a hat on. Let me yeah. tell you, that's so funny. I had I had a hat in the dashboard mm -hmm. that was just chilling because mm -hmm. I bought it, you know, at the thrift shop, and mm -hmm. I said. You know, I'll give you twenty bucks and another hat, so you don't mm -hmm. go hatless. Mm -hmm. He was he was excited. Mm -hmm. I was excited, and and, you had an awesome and, th and that's how we did. So, cool. you, so that's that. Now, does that always work? No, because no, no. I've been straight up told like I did. No. It, I did it for that John Deere hat. I go. I saw. I literally saw a guy buy the hat for a quarter. I watched it. Mm -hmm. I was. He was over the box. I was trying to be polite, waiting for him to leave. He went through all the hats, and he picked that hat out, and I. He bought it for a quarter. Offered him twenty dollars and he took it and he's like, I just forgot my hat today and it looked like it was gonna rain. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And so that's what I did too. And he went back and bought another hat because he yep. had twenty bucks and breakfast, so he had a good day. Yeah, hey, that's had fantastic. A really good day. So anyway, very good. All right, one last tip for us here. Okay, so when you're at a yard sale, and this kind of goes with anything you're searching for, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't see it, ask. Yeah. We're heading after this. We're heading mm -hmm. down probably 30 minutes down mm -hmm. the road because I just got a text mm -hmm. that I asked for hats. They looked for them. They couldn't find them. I gave them my card. I always have, you know, carry my cards, gave my card. It says, I buy hats. If you want to look, yeah, you know, right yeah, there. Right there. Where is it at? It's right here. <laughs> I see buy that? old hats. There's his number. Perfect. I don't know if you want to see that <laughs> on there, but there it is. <laughs> All right. So I buy old hats and they texted me about mm -hmm. two hours later, found the hats. We're going to go pick them up. There you go. So Awesome. Yeah. All right. One last thing here. If people need resources out there, maybe what are some places that can help them? There out? Are Obviously, Google Lens is a huge option now. Google Lens. But if you want to learn, there are mm -hmm. Facebook groups mm -hmm. that deal nothing but vintage hats. Mm -hmm. Vintage hats. Vintage sports hats. You can just go in there. You don't have to type anything. You can just scroll. Yep. And learn. Or, and I always tell people like this, go into Instagram and type in vintage trucker hats mm -hmm. and just scroll. Mm -hmm. You can learn a lot. And you'll learn a lot just by <laughs> looking, just by looking. You know, I'm a, I'm a visual person. So I scroll Instagram to do research. What's what's the new trends right now? Mm -hmm. What am I missing? Ooh, that, that, that. I'm gonna keep my <laughs> eye, out, eye out on that stuff now. All right. I just want to give a big giant thank you to Chernock as usual. I love bringing in experts and there is absolutely no better, nobody better in the field than him. Thank you for joining us, y'all. Go check out that video about cleaning hats. And down in the comments below, leave us your best hat find mm. in, say, the last year. I'd love to take a look at them. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to check them out on reseller information. And I can't wait to see you next time.